Hello everyone and welcome to the official Surfer tutorial. I'm Tom, co-founder and head of marketing at Surfer, and I'm excited to show you all the ways you can use Surfer to boost your site's visibility in search engines today. Whether you are a long-time Surfer user or just exploring if it's the right tool for you, stay tuned. I'm about to share some insider tips you won't want to miss. Let's kick things off with Surfer's Contenator, our most popular and beloved product, and the first of its kind. You might be already familiar with so-called content scores, but did you know that Surfer was the pioneer in introducing them to the market? Well, at least you know it now. In short, this is our content optimization tool. It analyzes top ranking pages for any given keyword to help you create top performing content. You can use the content editor to write and optimize new content, update and optimize existing articles, or generate ready to rank articles with AI. Let's look at each of the use cases now. Let's start with writing an article manually. Start by entering the keyword you want to rank for. By the way, you can see the keyword search volume as you are typing. Since none article ranks for only one query, we advise adding one to three keywords at least for better topic and competitor coverage. What's important is that all the keywords have similar search intent and are relevant for the same article. You can check on this by looking at the search engine result pages of that keyword. Group together keywords with the similar SERPs. These can be keywords like how to choose a laptop and choosing a laptop. Surfer will suggest you related keywords. Alternatively, you can use Surfer's topical map, but this is something we'll cover later. Once the content editor is ready, you don't have to stay staring at the blank page. The right side of the editor provides you with guidelines and features so you can create well-optimized and comprehensive content. You can adjust these guidelines under Settings tab. Specifically, you can make changes to your competitors, content structures, and included terms. But honestly, you don't have to, as Surfer algorithms automatically adjust these settings for you. The true star of Content Editor is Content Score. Content Score takes into account different ranking factors to measure how well your content stands against the competition. The higher the Content Score, the higher the chances of your article ranking high for the keyword of your choice. On the left side of the editor is your working area. There you can build outlines, write, and optimize your content. You have the option to choose between Insert Outline and Write with Surfer AI. Insert Outline generates a detailed article outline, properly structured with the right heading tags and talking points under. For further ideas, check out the Topics tab. There you can see more details and examples on which topics to focus on, straight from the top performing pages. You can also see which terms or entities are important for the particular topic. This way, you can create more comprehensive content than anything that's already out there. That's the proper way to climb the SERPs. You can also share your content editor with a writer if you are outsourcing this part of the process. To improve collaboration, you can use comments. You can also always turn on to Serfi, our writing assistant. Just tell Serfi your instructions and it will do the rest. For example, you can ask Serfi to expand on a topic by focusing on a particular angle. And here is the first insider tip. Use Serfi to ensure topical coverage. Simply take the recommended topic from the right-hand panel and ask Serfi to write you a section or a paragraph on it. As you cover the topic, you will see your content score go up. You don't have to strive for perfection though. There is no need to aim for 100 points as everything above 70 is considered good enough for most of the cases. To get there, look at the details under content score and terms panel. It shows which areas of your article needs improvement to move the content score, as well as which entities and terms to include in your content so that search engines can properly assess all the information and the relationship between sections. Very differently from keyword stuffing, the goal is to include these terms in a natural manner throughout the content. We have a simple solution for that. Auto-optimize. Auto-optimize looks at your existing content and slightly rewrites some parts to include entities in a natural way. If needed, it also generates new sections that fill content gaps. You can then review the changes of auto-optimize, approve, and watch the content score go up. But before you publish, don't forget about two key areas, content structure and internal linking. Big blocks of text lose readers' attention fast, so keep paragraphs short, add sections and images to break things up. Google and your audience will notice. And never ever forget about internal linking. We know this is often overlooked action, but it has a huge impact. So we made it easy for you as well. The Insert Internal Links feature crawls your site to find relevant articles you can link to. However, to use it, make sure to connect your Google Search Console account to Surfer. All these features work together to help you create helpful and top-performing content. Once you are done, add your content to your CMS and hit Publish. If you are using WordPress, our plugin makes it a breeze. 
Second use case, updating existing articles. Basically, you can update existing articles in the editor following the same guidelines as I described earlier. Enter the main article keyword and choose import content from the URL. Surfer will now fetch your existing content and prepare all the guidelines for you. You can then optimize your article by filling topical gaps, including relevant terms, internal links, and working on its structure. Keep in mind that both readers and search engines reward fresh content, so make sure to revisit your existing articles regularly. Another Surfer product, Content Audit, can help you decide which of your pages need an update, but more on that later. And the third use case of the content editor is to generate content with AI. With Surfer AI, you can create ready-to-rank articles in just a few steps and in under 20 minutes. You can then use save time to focus on editing and adding your unique insights to the article, making it truly exceptional. The process is pretty straightforward. From the main content editor window, choose Write with AI. Enter your keyword and choose location. Then follow on-screen instructions. Surfer AI has a structured prompting process. First, you adjust your article settings. You choose the article type and tone of voice. There are three options when it comes to the article type. Blog post, product roundup, and single product review. If you are doing a product roundup or single product review, you can also choose which products to include. Surfer provides a list of suggestions based on the SERPs. You can choose from which sources to pull information, or you can let Surfer AI decide. At this point, you are ready to move to the next step. But if you want to go a bit deeper, head into advanced settings. There you can include the relevant facts, sources, and any other information you want Surfer AI to take into consideration when creating your content. You can also look at the competitors Surfer AI has selected to pull the information from. Once ready with the customization, click on Create Outline. In the meantime, you can enjoy these funny funny phrases while you wait for a short moment. When the outline is ready, you can scroll through it. Look at the different heading sections, FAQs, and talking points under each. Here you have another chance to customize the article, even if you didn't do it in the previous step. You can, for example, add missing context you want AI to cover under each section, or even specific requests like include a table with key differences between each reviewed product. When you are satisfied with the outline, click on the Write Article button then go make yourself a well-deserved coffee or tea. But for now, I hope I still got your attention. Here's an example of Surf AI generated article. As you can see, the article is already optimized in the content editor and the content score is green. You don't have to focus on optimizing your article for right terms and topics any further. You can even skip worrying about images because we'll generate them for you. Instead, you can focus on adding your unique insights, examples and data that will make the article different from the rest. But if you feel some parts of the article need a more human approach, you can use Surfer's Humanizer. Just copy and paste the content you want to humanize and let the humanizer work its magic. This tool mimics the patterns of natural human communication, adding more rhythm and flow to your content. This tool also works as an AI content detection tool. You can use it to check the likely origin of any type of content and then humanize it. Now let's move on from on-page optimization to content strategy. With Surfer's topical map, you can play your whole content strategy in minutes. There are two ways to go about it. Generate your site's topical map by connecting it to Google Search Console. This is recommended when you already have some content on your site. Surfer will analyze your site and automatically group your content into clusters. You can see which clusters you have covered and what content to write to cover the rest. When it comes to your cluster strategy, we recommend you first focus on the clusters you already have some traction for. Look at the cluster and keyword metrics when choosing which content to prioritize. There are three things you have to consider. Business potential. How close to your core business and services or products are the keywords? Average keyword difficulty. How competitive are the clusters? And average search volume. How many searches are being conducted for the cluster topic and keywords? Ideally, you want to prioritize clusters with moderate ranking difficulty and high search volume. What this looks like in terms of exact numbers will depend on your industry benchmarks. All this you can visualize using the map. Your content will be grouped and mapped out, so you have an overview of your cluster coverage and average keyword difficulty. You can switch between those two views, or it can get even easier. Turn to the Recommendations tab and you can find the biggest opportunities alongside key metrics such as cluster coverage, keyword difficulty, search volume, and competitor topic popularity. Each recommendation has an overall score based on the above factors, making your choice easier, especially when you have a big site with hundreds or even thousands of pages. From within the topical map, you have an option to click on write and you will be taken to the content editor to start writing either yourself or with Surfer AI. 
If you have a smaller site with not much existing content, you can discover topics through keywords. While we always recommend connecting GSC, this is another way to use the topical map to build your content strategy. Similar to the previous option, you will still see relevant topic clusters related to your keyword. In the recommendations tab, you will see the most lucrative topics in terms of search volume and ranking difficulty. When ready, click on write. Sounds great so far? But what if you want to look deeper into each keyword and do some good old-fashioned keyword research? We have the tool for that too. Go to keyword research, enter the keyword you want to inspect and adjust the country settings if needed. Surface keyword research will generate content clusters based on the keyword and our database. This gives you a different view of your content strategy and it's a great way to expand your content ideas, especially for more niche or local topics. Let's look at our keyword, how to choose a laptop. You can find related keywords like best student laptop or even more niche ones like what to look for in gaming laptop. Each keyword cluster is made up of main keyword and related cluster keywords. You can look at each keyword cluster's monthly search volume and difficulty and filter them based on these factors. The goal is always to target keywords relevant to your business with a decent search volume and that are not too difficult to rank for. So, for example, while a keyword like best laptop for gaming and working has a high search volume, it does not necessarily mean it's a good keyword to target, especially if you don't have much authority in the niche or if you are a new site. Because this keyword has a very high difficulty score of 96 out of 100. Instead, you will be better off targeting a keyword like workstation laptop with a lower difficulty of 80 out of 100 and yet still pretty high search volume. I promised you earlier that we'll get back to the solution that helps you keep your existing article fresh. So now it's time for our newest product, Content Audit. As the name suggests, Surface Content Audit is an auditing tool for your website's content. Content Audit combines your website Google Search Console data with the real-time search results to identify opportunities that can improve page ranks and traffic. With it, you can see your page performance with all the metrics known from GSC and their content score, as well as keyword metrics and which keywords you rank for. With Content Audit, you will get a bird's eye view of all your pages, so you don't have to check each one individually. To get started with Content Audit, connect your domain's Google Search Console to your server account by clicking Create Content Audit. Choose the domain you want to audit if you have more than one GSC account connected. Surfer will automatically detect your website main location, but you can easily change it if needed. Remember, the location you are choosing here is your target location. So if your main audit is located in USA, you should select USA. But if your biggest customers are in France, select France even if you are based in USA. This tells Surfer which geography to analyze search results from. Then choose between auditing your website's most visited 200 pages or manually specifying a path. At first, I suggest to sticking to default top 200 pages by traffic since these are the most important pages for your site. After that, click Create Content Audit to continue. Surfer will then take a few minutes to analyze and display the top 200 pages from your site. For each URL, we'll pull out keyword data like keyword position, traffic, page impressions, and click-through rates from the last 60 days. Your dashboard will display the last 30 days of data. You can hover over the indicators in the table to see data from the last 30 days prior to that. Surfer will automatically pick your main keyword based on traffic and show your page average position for that keyword. Then the tool analyzes the search results to calculate your content score for each page. If you've been publishing content for a long time, you know that updating your old pages become increasingly challenging as your website grows. It's almost impossible to keep track of your existing content while creating new pages and going after the latest trends and news that your readers want to see. I really resonate with all of those questions that you might have too. Which page to update? What I'm missing? And so on. Because Google likes to see old pages updated with new information and user intent, we want to update and optimize existing pages as an efficient way to climb the search rankings. If you are not doing that, traffic and ranking opportunities are being wasted. The first use case is to identify underperforming content. These are pages that are ranking and bringing in some traffic, but could improve with little updates. In the Pages tab, you can sort or filter your pages by their content score or keyword metrics. So, for example, to find pages that are ranking between position 11 to 20, you can enter these values in the filter. You can then sort them by their content scores to see which pages are lacking the right content. In this example, you can clearly see that this page ranks on the second page of Google with very low content score. Improving it will almost certainly push up this page's rank in the search results. 
Now, to find your best opportunities, click on the best opportunities tab. Immediately, you will be able to see all of your underperforming pages. These are the pages that are likely to show improvement quickly with only few optimizations. Click on optimize to open page in Surface Contentator, where you can update the page yourself, manually, with auto-optimize or using Surface AI, like I showed you before. You can also add or remove pages from Content Audit as long as they are visible and indexed in Google Search Console. This gives you full control over which pages you are monitoring. You can keep track of what matters most, whether it's new content or existing pages. But absolutely the best part about Content Audit? It keeps a close eye on your site performance and sends weekly updates with statistics and opportunities for improvement. If any issues arise that could affect your content's performance, Surfer will catch them and notify you right away. It will also alert you if there is an opportunity to write a new article on a topic your audience is interested in, making your site rank for even more keywords. It's like having an insurance policy and very dedicated team member, ensuring your content stays fresh and competitive all the time. With Content Audit and all Content Editor's features like Content Score, Auto-Optimize, Topics and Internal Links, you have the best workflow for content optimization. Obviously, there is much more you can do with Surfer tools. Our users find new ways of utilizing Surfer every day. I strongly and sincerely encourage you to try all of the Surfer tools and explore the possibilities yourself. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Finally, let me know which of these is your favorite surfer tool in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers!